an amazing frozen pot pie cooked only in the microwave in this episode of Freezer Burns. If you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Greg's the frozen food master. He's best bud to your taste buds. Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. And you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is the Marie Callender's Beef Pot Pie. $3.99 for this box. Marie Callender sent me a coupon. I got this for free. So $3.99 for a beef pot pie. We got some nice flaky crust on the top, flaky crust on the bottom. We got some beef, carrots, onions, potatoes, I see some scallions in here. I mean, not scallions, what I'm talking about, celery. I see some celery in here. All the makings of like a beef stew wrapped up in a crust. Now, I love pot pies. You know how I feel about Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. I think it's awesome. But this kind of takes it to a different level. And it takes it to a different level because this is an individual portion and it's microwave directions on the outside, new baking tray that microwaves in less time. See, I one of those built-in tray type deals where I'm gonna be cooking this kind of on the box in the microwave. When I come back, I'm gonna tell you how it looks, how it smells, and I'm gonna get this down deep into my belly. Okay, so I've taken this Marie Callender's beef pot pie out of the microwave. I cooked it for nine minutes and then let it rest for five minutes. Couple things. First off, when I first took it out of the box, I was, like shocked. I was shocked because the entire, almost the entire inside of that box was filled with this pot pie. So uh, something to note, like it says on the directions to pull the top lid off and then stick it in the microwave. The problem is I only read direction number one, which is pull the lid off. And then I realized that the rest of the directions were on the bottom of the box. So just like read all the directions first before you start peeling the, the lid off. Uh, so I had to kind of go like, uh, I just like this. Um, anyways, I cooked it for nine minutes. Um, and then when I took it out of the microwave, as you can see, it is like the crust just totally puffed out. In fact, even uh, around the edges, um, the crust is kind of pulled up from this cardboard uh, kind of container. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, it smells great. It smells like a nice, buttery, flaky crust. Now, I know I had mentioned in the beginning of this review that this was a serving of one. Technically, according to the nutrition facts, it is a serving of two. Now, I gotta tell you, first of all, it's 234 grams per serving. You're gonna double that to get what we got here, which is over one pound of food. I know people are like, oh, hungry man, one pound of food, and, and myself included. I'm like, that is way too much food. However, this is like something you would get in, in a restaurant, like that type of size. I can't see you sharing this. Um, I understand why they're doing it. I can't see you sharing it. You look at this little box, you're gonna eat it yourself or at least try to. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the nutrition facts, double it all, okay? So uh, case in point, when you're doubling that, that's 1400 milligrams of sodium in this jobber. Okay. I'm gonna just dig right in uh, because it told me to wait five minutes, which I did. And I think one of the things that it's telling me to do that for is because they don't want me to burn my mouth. This is steaming already and I have waited the full five minutes and I'm gonna regret this, but let's see how this tastes. I knew it was going to do that, guys. I knew it. But I waited five minutes. Okay. Um, let's, let's dissect this. There is a nice brown gravy, beef gravy, with a lot of nice oniony flavor to the broth of this pot pie. I like that. 
This is the Marie Callender's Beef Pot Pie, $3.99. Once again, Marie Callender sent this to me for free, so I did not pay for this. And this is the problem with, you know, at least in my show terms, uh, with these packages that you actually cook it in, is I can't hold the box at the end. Anyway, here's the little top, which I discarded. Um, this here, this picture, that picture is not too unlike what I got. Um, it, it might not be just like, you know, just like, wah, like just kind of all over, all, all up in this, you know, pocket. Um, because there is definitely that crust kind of rose up a little bit. Um, and, but the, the pieces inside, individual taste, you can pick up the taste individually. I like that. And you know, I love the crust and you know that when something can be cooked in the microwave, I, I'm not convinced that cooking this in the oven will make it any better or make it any worse. I think it's pretty awesome just being in that nice little tray, cooking it in the microwave, sitting, maybe you, you wanna wait and sit longer than the five minutes, it's pretty decent. Not perfect though, because I don't think the beef is as great as it could be. I think the beef is good. I think the taste is good. I think the quality is good. I give this a four and a half out of five star rating. Question of the day. Do you like beef stew or do you like a beef pot pie? Leave that in the comment section. What's the best one you've ever had? You know, sometimes restaurants make some really, really good ones, but most of the time, and I bet, you know, if I were to like put money on it, most, most of the time, the best one you've had was cooked by your grandma, your mom, or, or your dad or grandpa or whatever, but some, a family member. That's what I'm gonna put my money on. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.